welcome to Room 120 News, your place to find out everything that's going on in our school and in our classroom this week. Just a reminder to please sign your child's homework folder nightly and leave it in their folder. Um, this is a way that I can see that you have received things that have come home in the folder um, and are doing the nightly homework assignments. Speaking of nightly homework assignments, we do have a new homework assignment called Reading Fluency. A passage will come home. Um, we did this last week, but just, just a reminder of the expectations. Um, a passage will come home with your child, and you will time them for one minute to see how many words they're able to read in the one minute. You will record it on the little recording sheet. And hopefully the goal is by the end of the week for them to either read more words than they did at the beginning of the week or uh, maybe even all the words in the passage. So please be sure you're doing that nightly. Um, it really is going to help your child build their reading fluency this school year. Thank you so much to everyone that has signed up for beginning of the year conferences so far. Um, it is so nice to see so many parents that are eager to meet. Um, I am eager to meet. So if you have not um, been able to sign up for a conference, please, 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 please look at the doodle um, tonight or as soon as possible. Pick a time that works best for you. If there's not a time available that works for you, just let me know and I'll be glad to work around your schedule. Um, it's crucial that we meet with all parents at the beginning of the year so that we can discuss kind of where we're starting and then our plan for um, for continuing on and growing throughout the school year. So please make all effort to sign up for a required parent-teacher conference. Um, if you have not returned to your school pictures to school, please try to do so this week. Um, if you're not interested in purchasing the pictures, you must return the whole packet. And then if you do want to purchase I'm pictures, sure you can um, purchase um, those pictures via cash or check or online and just send me either the cash or the check or a confirmation number and then I'll check you off of our list. Um, the I have, am having to turn in the list of people that turn in folders every day to the office, so please just make an effort to do that this week. This Wednesday, please make sure your child comes to school wearing orange. It's National Unity Day, standing up against bullying. So our class is honoring that day by dressing in orange. So please make sure that your child either has an orange shirt on or something on their um, clothing that is orange so that we can stand together against bullying. Finally, you will find a Sign Up Genius this week in um, Todd Times. Um, the Sign Up Genius is for um, four pumpkins. So we need four different families to be to donate a pumpkin. I was actually at Walmart yesterday and they were like three bucks. So I just need four people that are willing to donate a carving pumpkin um, to our classroom. We've been learning a lot, a lot about place value. And one thing that I like to do in October is let students um, count using our place value strategies, the seeds that are inside of the pumpkin. Um, so if you are willing to donate a pumpkin to our classroom from our pumpkin math towards the end of the month, please fill out that sign up genius um, and let us know that you can bring in a pumpkin. Your donation will be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, up next is looking ahead where you will hear all the things that are happening in the future of our school and in our classroom. Mark your calendars for Tuesday, October 31st, as it is a teacher work day, um, but also the parent-teacher conference day. So there will be no school for students that day, um, but I will be having parents in the building meeting on, on that day very uh, throughout various times of the day. Also, mark your calendars for the week of um, October 23rd through the 27th. Um, that is Red Ribbon Week, so standing up against staying drug-free. So during that week, we will have different theme days every day. There will be a flyer coming home in your child's folder tomorrow outlining all of those days for you and you will also be getting an email and dojo reminder the day before um, the theme day letting you know what what your child should wear to school that day up next is curriculum corner where you will hear all the things that your child is going to learn in the classroom this week In math, we're continuing with place value, but this week we're going to be uni using units of money. So students will learn how you can group certain amounts of coins to make a new dollar and dollars to make a new set of dollars or a new amount of money. So students will be learning place value with monetary units this week. 
and foundations, it kind of changes and varies. Um, students are now switching for foundations based on their needs. So we're kind of in all different places. Um, so um, I believe that our grade level is going to be putting out a like foundations newsletter to let you know um, what group what each group is doing and the resource that would best help that group. So be on the lookout for that either this week or next week. In reading, we're continuing module one of our wit and wisdom um, curriculum, which is focusing on fall and how it causes changes to people and animals. We're going to be reading a book this week called Why Do Leaves Change Colors? Um, this is a scientific nonfiction text that actually walks through the process of leaves changing colors in the fall. So I think it will be very interesting um, for your child to learn about the science behind leaves changing colors. And then finally in science, we're going to be talking about sound again. We're going to be talking about sound waves and how sound is made through vibrations. So students will be doing lots of fun experiments this week, this week and learning about sound waves and vibration. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Room 120 News. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. If not, we'll see you right back here next week for another episode of Room 120 News.